السلام عليكم خوتي هواتتي او اشعركم مبروكا اليوم حنتعيب بسارة بيسار so today we will cook um, bisara, a, a Moroccan soup it'll be super delicious so we just wanted to say a big thank you again for all of you who have subscribed who have watched the videos who have liked commented uh, we're really enjoying sharing with you guys uh, with that said we're really sorry we missed last Thursday but we are back every Thursday recipes um, we're really excited though because this week is extra special because it's Aid so we are preparing for Friday, we're getting everything together and uh, we're really excited to hopefully share a video with you guys about our first Aid together. So um, yeah, we're gonna make our soup today, our fava bean soup. It's one of my favorite Moroccan foods. Um, kind of funny because it's all over the country, everywhere you go you find it. Um, locals are always eating it. Um, it's really cheap, it's really simple, but it's so good. I love it. So. Great, so let's go ahead and check out our ingredients and see what's in our visada soup. Our ingredients today are pretty basic. We don't need too many things for this soup. Um, so in Morocco, traditionally, they use fava beans um, in their visada. So uh, these beans, obviously, you can find all around the world, um, but in Morocco, they'll traditionally just use fava beans for this recipe. Um, sometimes, though, some places use some split peas. They'll use mostly fava beans and then add a little bit of split peas. Um, so today, we really like this version. I really like this version. I'm a big fan of visada. Lokman is not, but that's okay. Uh, he showed me how to make it. So we're using majority of fava beans, um, some split peas, lots of garlic. Um, that's kind of the, mo the most basic form of this recipe, a little salt, a little pepper. Um, and then after the soup is finished, when you serve the soup, you'll add a nice big pool of olive oil, good quality olive oil and some harissa and lots of cumin. So this really makes the basada perfect. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start uh, boiling our beans. We're gonna boil our beans, our garlic, some water on the stove, get everything nice and cooked. Um, we'll check it with water and add more water as needed, but we really wanna make sure that our split peas and our beans get nice and cooked. Um, and then we'll essentially blend that in the blender. We'll put it back on the stove, add a little bit more olive oil, some salt there, and yeah, and then we'll enjoy our soup. So stay tuned. Okay, great. So we're going to boil the beans, like I said. Be sure you clean your beans. So we're using uh, about a cup of fava beans, a half a cup of split peas. Now you can definitely double, triple this recipe, freeze it, freezes super well. Um, but today we're just making a little bit um, for me. So it's really good to use some split peas too for those of you who have digestion issues because uh, the fava beans do need to be soaked a bit to break down. The uh, split peas are gonna be much easier to digest. So for those of you with uh, digestion issues, do mix and use both of them for this recipe. Okay, great, so we poured our uh, washed beans into our pot. And now what we're going to do is cut up our garlic uh, take off the skin, crush it, we'll throw it in our pot, um, add some water, some salt, and a little black pepper, and then we'll meet you back on the stove. Okay, so we have uh, about, I would say, six cloves of garlic. I am a huge garlic fan though, so you can always put just a, a few less if you'd like. Um, so we have our garlic, our fava beans, our split peas. We're putting about a tablespoon of olive oil, uh, a half of a teaspoon of black pepper, and then we'll put about a teaspoon of salt. We'll fill this with about two cups of water, two and a half cups of water to make, make sure everything's nice and covered. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the stove, um, bring it to a boil and turn it down to simmer. Let, let everything cook really well for probably 15, 20 minutes. Great, so you see in here, we covered everything with water. It's only, I would say, a half an inch uh, above the beans right now. We'll get them cooking and we'll check back. We'll add more water in just a few minutes when we see that it's absorbed all the liquid. But yeah, we have our salt, our pepper, oil, garlic, and our beans. Woo. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. We have everything nice and cooked. 
And you see we have some liquid left in here, so we do want to make sure there's a little bit of liquid. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this in our blender. Okay, so after we've blended it, then we want to put it back in our pot and put it back on the stove. So we pour it right back in, uh, and now we go ahead and throw it on the stove. Okay, so we put it back on the stove for about five minutes. We want to stir it consistently here, but we want to add a few more spices. So we're adding a little bit more of black pepper, probably about a quarter, half teaspoon. Okay, and then we'll put the same amount of cumin as well. And now we wanna make sure to mix it. We, uh, we don't want everything to stick. So if you don't mix the soup here when you put it back on the stove, then it'll tend to stick to your pan. So we don't wanna do that. We're also gonna add in a little bit of olive oil, probably about one teaspoon. And then of course, like always, adding enough salt to taste. So we already put in about a teaspoon of salt, um, but here we'll add in just a bit more to ensure that it's the flavor that we would like. So you just wanna make sure that you really mix in all those spices, those, the black pepper and the cumin that we just put in, um, as well as the salt. You don't want any clumps of spices. So, Again, we're just hanging out, mixing this on the stove for about five minutes on a, about a medium heat. Okay, great. So we have our soup here that's finished from the stove. Um, now we want to ladle it into our bowl. So as we ladle this into our bowl, we want to leave room so that we can put some olive oil some cumin and some harissa or essentially a red, pe red pepper spice, something to give you a little bit of heat. So this is our finished soup and then we're putting some olive oil. A healthy amount of olive oil. <laughs> and then sprinkling it with some cumin. Again, Moroccans really like cumin, so lots of cumin. And a little bit of harissa, again, to taste. I'll just put a bit. And this is our beautiful basada. Okay, so we have our finished soup. Again, you definitely cannot forget the end part. You have to put the olive oil, the cumin, and the harissa to make sure that you get optimal flavor. It's so good. It's so hot. <laughs> it's really tasty. It's perfect. So again, it's a really simple soup. Um, Plant-based, you're just using some good beans and legumes, some garlic, some spices. So definitely give it a shot. If you haven't already, feel free to like and subscribe for us. Click that little bell. Um, again, we really love to share with you guys and we're really excited to put out a new recipe every Thursday. Um, if, for those of you who are, if you're vegan, definitely try this recipe because it is vegan. Um, if you're not and you just like soup or you like legumes, definitely try this recipe. Um, we really think you'll like it a lot. So, shukran bezef khuti khuti and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Awasharkum mabroka. Awasharkum. Awasharkum. Awasharkum mabroka. Awasharkum mabroka. Awashar. Awashar. Okay. okay, let's try. One, two, three.